So I saw something very interesting on the internet a couple days ago. And it was um, Brie Bella was answering. She's now Brie Garcia, as many of you know. She was answering questions on social media. And she mentioned that she would be back in the ring, that she'd be wrestling again. She name dropped a couple of an oppo- a couple of opponents, and of course they're former WWE wrestlers. She's not, um, you know, she's not name dropping women from the Indies or the, uh, you know, the Ring of Honor product or anything like that. They're they're big names, big time names, just so happen to be spread across a couple of different companies. And of course she mentioned Trinity, and she mentioned Mickey James. And also mentioned looking forward to seeing the two of them against each other and that they're going to kill it. So, you know, that does tell me that Brie Garcia somewhat has her eyes on the Impact product. She's probably not tuning into Impact every week. But she's got an idea what's going on because she's got friends competing there. So that brings up the question. Could we see Brie Garcia step foot in an Impact ring? Even if it's for two or three matches, Lord knows it would not be a long-term contract. I'm not delusional. But could we see her step in to to face Trinity, to face Mickey James? Because here's the deal. Mickey James is probably going to be here with Impact until she retires. I don't see some kind of jump to AEW. Trinity, I don't think, will ever lose a match in Impact Wrestling until she drops the knockouts title. I could be totally wrong. She could be here for the long haul. I don't think so, but we'll see. This is a, um, you know, a day by day development. As far as I'm concerned, I think we didn't really expect her past Slammiversary the first time, but she's, you know, she's going to be defending the title bound for glory versus Mickey James. We all saw this coming. Stevie wonder could see that through a brick wall that that's where they were going to go. So, you know, what are the chances? Mickey James is going to be around. She dropped the, she name dropped the Iconics as well. We know them as the inspiration as Impact fans. And where could you hold a match like that versus those kind of, those kind of girls? Probably an Impact. AEW is not running out and grabbing every single female free agent possible. They're getting they're getting their hands on some. Don't get me wrong, some of the names that WWE drops or NXT but they're not going and snatching up every free agent like they do with the males, like what Tony Khan is doing with the guys. There's also not a huge focus on the women's division there. Yeah, they got a couple championships, but there isn't the focus that Impact places on the females. Impact will always be a place to be for the knockouts. Now, again, I don't expect Brie Garcia to ever be considered a long-term knockout, but could they get her an Impact ring? It would pop the number... Even if she she did one episode, it would pop the number well above anything that Kenny uh, Kenny Omega did when he was when he was around. Well beyond that. Now here's the thing: she is no longer Brie Bella; she is Brie Garcia, as I've mentioned a couple times here. And Impact doesn't have a great track record of um, of bringing in wrestlers who who've had to rebrand themselves. Now, you know, do they do this 100% of the time? No, I'd be I'd be lying. Okay, there are some people they've brought on. Probably most recently, W. Morrissey that I can think of. I can, yeah, that I can think of. I'm, I mean, that was a couple years ago, so <laughs> I'm sure there's some other people, but uh, and there might be a very obvious one. I'm just uh, the name isn't coming to me at the moment. You know, but every once in a while they're going to bring someone on and they're going to reinvent themselves. I wouldn't say Trinity is someone who's reinvented herself. She had a brand name as Trinity on Total Divas, and she's her same exact WWE character. She's just not Naomi. But Brie and her sister had to completely rebrand themselves. And this is there's been interviews on this that there was concern over it. They had the Bella Army. They had the Bella name. And a year before they decided to stop wrestling, they had to to take that in consideration and take that year to start building uh, to where when their wrestling days were over, they could still have some kind of brand name with their 
Garcia name. Now, she's not someone with a character, with a gimmick. So you come in, everyone knows Brie Garcia as Brie Bella. It, you know, it's not like uh, she's coming in under a completely different name. But, you know, I think she has enough drawing power, enough star power. Like, she's not good in the ring. Let's not... Uh, let's not confuse that. I've always thought she was by far the least talented of the two sisters. But, you know, you get someone like that on your television pro- program, you get her sister with her if it's a tag team match. Yeah, that could be huge. Even if it's short term eyeballs, it impacts, they're good with short term. They're good with, you know, you look at their YouTube channel, how much clickbait is on there, their social media. They're They're okay with short term bumps and viewership. Do, do, could it happen? I don't know. She seems like too big of a star to come to impact if I'm being 100% real with you guys. But this is one of those situations I actually could see her if she decides to come back to the ring. Common sense is to say, oh, well, her husband's an AEW. Can you really see them doing anything in AEW? The way they book their women's division? I mean, what is appealing about that? Aside from money and and um, eyeballs on the product, obviously, and podcasts and websites. They talk about EW daily, right? Tony Khan's got got him talking daily. So could it happen eventually? Yeah, absolutely. But in the short term, if it's like, hey, we want to get in the ring and we want to do something and do something special, really impact is the place when you've got Trinity, when you've got Mickey James, because you don't have anyone on that AEW women's roster, which I think is a lot better than people give it credit for. But there's no one on there that you can say, okay, we're we're creating dream matches. We're creating bucket list matches. There's nothing there for them to do that. If it was Soraya, like no one really wants to see Soraya versus Brie Bell, I can promise you. I, I mean, I'm sure there's some people who do, but that wouldn't be a good match. So there's an opportunity. We could see it. Usually I'm, I'm you know, pessimistic. pessimistic Ooh, wow, pessimistic on these kind of wrestlers ever stepping foot in an impact ring. But this is a situation. She's clearly got her eye on a couple of the women. One of them's probably a mainstay until she retires. So I think it's possible. I, I think it's very, very possible for that one match, those two matches, something like that. Because they're the you know, Bree and her sister are not going to work the indies. They're saying they're going to return to the ring. They're not going to work the indies. They're not going to, you know, um, jiggle tits pro in New Jersey or something like that. They're not doing that. They're going to be on some kind of television product. So this would be the place to be for them. So, of course, leave your thoughts in the comments. Like, is this something you think could happen? Is this something you want to happen?